We're on our way right now to a person with a weapon assault called Trouble Unknown. We don't really know what's going on. There's a male in a plaid shirt jumping people's fences. Uh, he's possibly armed with a knife. We don't really have any information right now. This guy apparently is on drugs. We're going to contact him, see what his deal is. This guy's wanted to. Get on the ground! Lay down! Lay down on the ground! Lay on the ground right now! Roll over! Roll over! All right, stop. Oh, Quit stop. Pull your arms out. Quit resisting. Hands out. Stop resisting. Pull your arms out. Hands out. Put your arms out okay, now. Everyone, let me go. Put your arms out now. Put your arms out now. I can't breathe. No, don't let me. Hit him again. Stop resisting. Stop fighting. Get your hands out from underneath you. Get your hands out from underneath you now. Stay where you're at. Please let me go. <laughs> What's your deal today, man? Uh, is, uh, I, don't I saw this guy on the flyer. He might be wanted. <laughs> What's your name, man? Mike what? Um, Mike what? You got any ID on you today? Uh, no, I think so. No? Let's pat him down. Uh, uh, oh. Any weapons on you? Hey, man. Just relax. Go over. Uh. What's your problem today, man? I have no problem today. It's going to my bike. You hopped up on something? No. What are you using? Sitting on my face. What's your deal, man? I'm OK. That hurt, man. Who did that to me? This guy actually came up to me. I was just standing out here. I just seen him walking down the street. Uh, he hit his arms all up like this. And okay. He was walking down the street, staggering, talking to the sky. Uh -huh. He was uh, looked like he was sky high on methamphetamines right. or, or some kind of drugs. And uh -huh. he threatened. He came up to me and he threatened to kill me. And, and this guy actually heard him from yeah, further down the block. Okay. okay. So what, what, what exactly did he say? He said, I'll, I'll kill you. And then he ran up to me and tried swinging on me okay. about two times. And I had to back up. And I actually had to run okay. backwards. Okay. Did, did you feel like he was uh, going to carry out that threat today? Oh, yeah. Absolutely? Oh, yeah. OK. You, you definitely felt threatened? I felt it? definitely threatened by this guy. Okay. He's a pretty big dude. He's got a lot of rings on him. He right. probably could have. I, what I, saw. Uh -huh. I was outside cleaning my yard, uh -huh. or my street. Uh -huh. And I saw him, this guy right here, over here at his house. And this guy right here, like, oh, God, I saw him uh, walk up and down here, pacing up and down, threatening people walking as he's walking by. What exactly did he say? He goes, I'm going to shoot you with a gun. OK. Yeah, he did. <laughs> All right. OK, you guys sit tight for one second, OK? Yep. All right, bro. Jerry, yeah. felony harassment, too. Felony harassment, yeah. dope, Okay. obstructing. OK. We've got a transport car coming. OK. Oh, where's the dope at? Yeah, you blocked him, didn't you? No, I appreciate it. Thanks. You have a good, all right, you have a good day, man. Pretty feet apart. You got any needles on you? Get off the car. Any needles on you like that? Oh, no, man, I was walking in the street. What are you guys doing? You're under arrest. I already told you that. Why am I under arrested, man? It's going... looking like you're under arrest now I, I'm for I'm a for my bike. If you have my bike, so I said, come get it today. Very non compliant, Dave. He tried uh, making it over this fence as we were trying to get to him. This guy blocked him from getting over his fence, and that's when we grabbed him. We need photos of him for anything uh, before we uh, put him in? You know, there's there's no marks from the taser on the back of his neck. OK. So he's under arrest for obstructing the meth. OK. So he's going to go to jail for that as well. Good deal. Driver, step out of the vehicle, hands in the air, face away from me. That's very funny. We are on our way to uh, one of the industrial businesses in Rialto. Uh, apparently, there's some people there uh, stealing copper wire, which has kind of been an epidemic lately here in, uh, in Rialto. So we're going to Go This has got to be them. I want this guy to go. Come here. Come here. OK, pursue, pursue. 
45, I'm in pursuit of the vehicle uh, eastbound Rialto from Cactus. It is blue to stop at Lilac. Southbound Lilac. Southbound Lilac. Is this I saw him loading the copper into it. He's going to foot bail. Stand by. Put your hands up! Put them up! Close the, leave it right there, you understand? <laughs> Driver, step out of the vehicle, hands in the air, face away from me. That's very funny. Side step to the left. Walk backwards, walk backwards. Stop. Side step, one step to your left. Who's got cuffs? I got cuffs. OK. Walk backwards. Stop. Drop down to your knees. Cross your feet. Put your hands behind your head. Do not move. Go ahead. The other guy's hiding over in the drainage ditch over under a piece of plywood now. So uh, 40 King, the helicopter's got him. What were you doing with all that copper wire? Uh, no, I just found it laying in the street, sir. Right. Let me let me let me clue you in on something real quick, okay? When you guys were in the yard of that business, I wasn't no, in the yard. Sh 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 listen to me. You're on camera. There's a closed circuit TV camera in there, and they were watching you remotely. Okay, so yeah. stop. Stop. I'm not on camera. I was loading. So, well, it was you and your partner that we now have in custody, and I saw you loading it into your car. Yeah, I was loading. So what explanation do you have for that? No, I seen you laying on the right. They've got your car on the video. They've got the whole thing. You're. What do you have to say about that? I wasn't on the video. I'm telling you, you are on the video. Okay, I'm telling you. I was you. never in the yard. Go ahead, Sergeant. Can you go over there? Yeah, firm. Copper's pretty valuable nowadays, so that's the big thing that is to, to steal copper. Even if you find a guy with a backpack full or a suitcase full of this stuff, uh, unless you have a, a confirmed burglary somewhere, you never know who it belongs to because it's not a, it's not easily identifiable. Luckily, we were able to get this on video, so we know who this belongs to. Uh, they just caught the other guy just south of here. Look up. Look up. Yeah, that's him. Is this the guy? Yeah, that's him. Uh, follow the helicopter. I knew of this uh, driveway back here. I thought he through. had something white on his jacket, but it could have just been the white T-shirt that I saw. Yeah, he just took this uh, driveway all the way back here. Uh huh. He was hiding. I heard him say. I heard Forty King say there was. He was uh, made himself into a piece of plywood or yeah, something. Yeah, that little plywood right there. Hey, look up at me, man. What's going on? What were you guys doing in that yard? I was trying to mess around in the yard, man. But you were in the yard. We got you on video being in the yard. How do you think we wound up there? What are you crying for, man? I'm hungry, dude. Did you say you're hungry? Is that what he said? We'll work on getting you a meal, dude, but stop the madness, man, OK? David. Slide over here for just a little bit. Let me, let me talk to you. They got you on video right down to the logo on the back of your shirt, OK? You were in the yard. No, I you had the car. The you were driving the car. I'm you were on the other side of the fence, and your partner was helping you get the wire, oh, OK? Oh, yeah. There's no sense in lying. I'm not lying. Because the, the video is going to show everything. Nobody You're going to prison for a long time. Nobody handed me nothing. You're on the video, OK? But, uh, uh, nobody ever handed me nothing. Okay, you're going to be charged with grand theft, burglary, and theft with priors. Okay, we're en route to a robbery that just occurred at the donut shop down the street here. The suspect is in a gray Chevrolet extended cab truck occupied by a black male, so... Okay, he's going to run. He's running. Okay, do you have a direction from? Yeah, we're westbound. Very southbound. We're southbound. Going to go back westbound. He's got to go westbound. <laughs> OK, he's westbound. Y'all hang out on Harrisburg. He's in the neighborhood here. We're going to go back to 79th. We're currently westbound on Harrisburg, approaching 79th. No, sir, we're not on Harrisburg. We're in the neighborhood. 51 George Young. Southbound on 78th. Get K-9 and Fox. This is going to be the robbery suspect. He's going to go back on 80th, uh, southbound 80th. Southbound 80th. You guys just saturate the unit. He's putting his hands out. He's talking on a cell phone. 
All right, hold on. It looks like he's going to stop on 80th. Felony stop. Felony stop. They're felony stop on 80th. You have a bunker. Stand by. Turn your side. Yes, Turn the truck yes. off. Yes. Stay. Carry. Back up. Back up. Turn the truck off and step out. Turn the truck off. Turn the truck off and step out of the vehicle. Turn the truck off and step out of the vehicle. Face down on the ground now. Down. Face down. Do not move. You hear me? Do not move. Clear the truck. Clear the truck. Get off here. Truck Don't clear. Don't shoot me. Clear. All right. Cover. All right. Cover and handcuff. All right. Calm down, everybody. 11 H 11, 11 H 11, suspect in custody under control. We're gonna be up on three, all right? One, two, three. Okay, make the, can, can I just call my key? We'll, 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 we'll work on that in a minute, man. You do what this officer tells you, right here. Okay, on the truck, man. What you running for? Huh? Why'd you run? Why'd you run? You like Dunkin' Donuts or what? Why'd you run, man? You know why I ran, man. Well, tell me why you ran. I'm not saying. Okay. You're still on probation right now? You are? It's him. Yeah, man, it's me. I'm not going to lie. It's me. Okay. All right. That's all right, man. I, no, he robbed Dunkin' Donuts a while ago. I don't know about the truck. I took the cash register, man. Okay, okay, okay. I'm hey, I'm communicating with my officers, all right? I'll let you talk in just a minute. I'm trying to get everything situated. He did a robbery at Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know about the truck. Okay. Y'all hold off on the truck. The money's supposed to be in the center console. Hey, man, can you push the truck in there? Just tell my mom I'm getting arrested, please, man. Can you take him? Yeah, you can you do it, but you want to take We can take it down there. You can take it down there? Okay. Yeah. You want me to take mine off there, or you want to leave mine off? We'll, we'll do it over Just, there. Okay. Leave mine until we get up there. Right. Sorry, he said uh, that he did hijack the, the Dunkin' Donuts. He said all the money was in the center console. We've got a big wad of money in the console. We're going to wait and photograph it for evidence. So also, we, we're going to need this hat because he had the hat on during the robbery. Okay, the, the money we're getting out of the console is all in, in separate denominations. All the ones, all the fives, all the tens, and the twenties are together like it just came out of a cash register drawer, which is the MO for the robbery. He took all the money out of the cash register. So that's really important to note. Plus, it looks like he took all the change. We're going to bag everything up for proper evidence. He's even got roll coins in there that I'm sure were in the drawer. You gonna take him back over there to the ID him? Yes. I think that's what they're fixing to do anyhow. Did, did you have a weapon? No, it was a strong arm robbery. Okay. Just went in and uh, pushed the, the clerk back and opened the register and took all the money. Hey, Joseph, I appreciate you uh, pulling over. I appreciate you cooperating with us. Uh, like I said, what I told you, We'll talk uh, to the DA and, and the detectives on the deal. You didn't hurt anybody, so uh, like I say we're going to get you processed in as quick as we can, all right? Hey, right now, we just got dispatched to a uh, domestic dispute where the husband is ramming his wife's vehicle while driving on Foothill Boulevard. Paul 10. We're uh, in pursuit, both vehicles, eastbound Foothill, approaching Cactus. Okay, the uh, Jeep's yielding. We got both vehicles yielding in front of uh, Carl's Jr. Get on the ground, get on the ground, taser, taser, taser! Why weren't you listening? Yeah, it's hard to move your head with that stuff. What are you guys doing? You go to the ground, you go to the ground. Why are you chasing that car? Why are you chasing that car? It's a long story. Okay, uh, well, give it to me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. it's all right, it's cool, it's cool. Why are you chasing them? It's a long story, sir. But I'm cool. You got me. That is no, cool. it's not cool. It's a that, that thing hurt. What happened? Give me the story about what happened. Uh, she's my wife. Uh huh. And we were having problems. Okay. And today just got out of control. So why are you chasing her? Putting all of us at risk here. You can kill people. I know. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Well, why are you chasing her? That hurt. Why are you chasing her? Huh? It got just, it just got out of control, sir. I, I mean, I don't want. What I, was you, the fight you, about? This is like, uh, 
a 10 year old fight. A 10 year just, old fight? Yeah, yeah, they just, today just blew up. Let's go. Okay. Can you loosen up a little bit? Just a little bit, sir. No. Step in there. Watch your head. You're going to go in with your butt first. Put your foot in. Why does she think the husband was trying to ram him? She's not sure why. Exactly why. He's had a bad temper in the past. He's been violent. Change the house, the house, the house. Tommy, the me, only she me, can me. This came out as a uh, vehicles chasing each other. It looks like his ex-wife called in because he's chasing her in this and uh, rammed her car. We got some damage to his front end here. There's some heavy damage to her car. She's saying the car was in good condition prior to the incident. So, I mean, obviously he, he did some extreme ramming to her vehicle. She's saying this is where he came up and started pounding on her windshield. Obviously, he was pretty angry. Where were you sitting in the car? In the backseat. How many times did he ram you guys? I don't know, it was like so many times. I, don't, I didn't even keep count. Was it like a high rate of speed or were you guys? Yes, he hit us like four times. He, we smashed into cars, pole lights, everything. He wanted to die or something because we almost flipped over and everything. He didn't stop. He was on the phone with his daughter. I don't know, he just wanted to kill that guy. I don't know. Where did this all start? I don't know, an argument with my mom, I guess. Uh -huh. <laughs> what happened? Did he punch the front windshield? Is that how that yes. broke? He just came up and started just, punching on it? He just got out of his car and started screaming stuff at him and just started punching and telling that he was going to kill my mom, me, and, and the, the other girl. And, well, what all, what all, he was saying he was going to kill you, your mom? Everybody, he was going to kill everybody in the car. Hey, lean out here and talk to me. Yes. All right, they're telling us that you're calling them and while you're calling them, you're telling them, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to kill your mom, and I'm not going to stop till you're, they're all dead. Tell me, I mean, this is your one chance. Come clean. Why are whatever you saying all they, that? Whatever they want to say is, is okay, my fault. Well, did you call them and tell them that? Not that, but whatever they say is my okay. fault. I'll take the blame. They were scared out of their mind. I know, I know they were scared. Your daughter's over there crying. I know, I know. Your ex-wife's crying. They're all, they were all telling us sir, we thought we were going to die, sir, that you hit them 20 times. Not 20 times. Come on. You, did you see their car? Yeah, sir. Is that my car? OK, well, did you see sir, what you did to it? Sir, if they're saying that I tried to kill them, that, that I called to train them that I was going to kill them, I know I didn't say that, but if they want to blame me for that, I'll take the punishment. Okay. Punishment and just, I mean, right now, sir, like, if you want to shoot me in the head up, they wouldn't matter for me, sir. Okay. Well, you're I going mean, to jail. I'll, yeah, I know, sir. You know I what know. you're going to jail for? I know. You're I, going to jail for attempted murder. You sound here selling tabs? No, I'm not selling Get on the ground! Oh, well, this truck was driving at a high rate of speed, kind of reckless. We're just going to stop it here and make sure it's not stolen. Look at this guy doing a deal right here on the bike. This guy on the bike doing a deal. Get right the guy here. on the bike. Get down, get down. Turn off the car. Turn it off. Hey, get out. Get out. Put your head by your back. Put him behind your back. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out. Get his head, get his head. Put his head. Put his head by your back. Put his head. Behind your back. Get your other hand back here, man. Get your other hand back here. Searching good. You act right, dude? Alright, come on. Come on. Two, three. Pull my pants on. Everybody all right? Yeah. Yeah. Shake him down. Why'd you run? I ain't got nothing. Huh? Then why'd you run? Huh? What do you got on you? Oh, you sold him some weed? No. We saw you selling with him, though. I told mommy to give her keys, man. Hey, buddy, talk to me, man. Talk to me. Why'd you run? Huh? So when we approached him, we saw him making hand-to-hand -hand with the driver in the car, Hardy. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't and then when we got hot on him, of course, you guys were pulling up at that time, and then he, he tried to make it. Yes, and stuff. sir. So way to chase him down. Good guys. Way to go. He is a good Hey, man. 
talk to my supervisor. What were you doing with this guy? He just, I just know him from Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box? I Which Jack in the Box? The one down the street. What's his right name? Saying, but, but I don't know his You don't name. know him? Then how do you know him? I just know him from working at Jack in the Box. You I'm just know him? to him. Yes, sir. What were you guys talking about? I was just saying, what you been up to, you know? He didn't say the weed? That's my weed. Sir. That's your weed? Well, you're going to jail for possession of ecstasy, yes, right? And also the crack cocaine that you threw down. I ain't, I ain't throwing no crack down. You didn't I'm throw deck box down, huh? No, sir, out of hell. So all those five officers running behind you that saw you throw deck box down around? I was an ex right up in there. I ain't had no crack. Sir. But you said you didn't have anything when I first pulled it out until I pulled it out, and then you said, oh, yeah, I got X on me. I forgot, sir. You forgot it? Yes, sir. I ain't got no dope on me. Well, no oh, you, you didn't have it on you because you threw it down. I, mean, I ain't never had no dope on me. Nobody seen me with nothing. All I had was X. All oh, you had was the X pill, yes, huh? Sir. All right. All right, you know why you're going to jail? Seriously. For what? From what he just told me, marijuana. So. You're going to jail for what? Marijuana. Possession of marijuana, right? Yes, Were you in boot camp recently? No, sir. Because you said, sir, no, sir, and I usually... Was, I was just in jail. I was just in jail. I thought I was right, sir. Okay, what you just get out of jail for? Uh, I, I just got out of jail for uh, marijuana. Marijuana? Yes, sir. So, how long did you do for your last case? My last case? Uh, I got, uh, they just gave me conviction and I did like 30 days. They gave you 30 days? How much was it? It was, uh, I, I, I can't remember, sir. Why would you risk driving around with marijuana on your possession, knowing that it's probably going to get towed when you get arrested? Just being stupid, sir. Just, huh? Just being stupid. Just being just stupid? I was just going through. Do you think it's that marijuana that maybe clouds your judgment sometimes when you smoke it? Yes, yeah, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Just hold on. Thank you, sir. All right, bud. Put your hands up, now! Get him on the dashboard, right now! I don't know why he's running. Probably scared you the way he was driving, huh? All right. 979 traffic. 979, go ahead. Uh-huh. X-ray, Nora, X-ray. We'll be on 65 and Tolman. We're going to stop this car here. We, uh, the, the registered owner of the car, and they're not quite pulling over yet. The registered owner has a uh, felony warrant. And it looks like we're going to probably be in pursuit here. Nine's, uh, 979. Uh, this driver is failing to yield. We're going westbound Duke from 65. It's a black Ford excursion. And we're going to be in pursuit. Westbound Duke. No traffic on the road. Um, traffic charges at this point. There's two occupants. The passenger's a white male. He's found, he's found having Tolman here on a gravel road. Right here, right here, right here. They just bailed down here. All right, uh, 979, let's go ahead and get a perimeter. Uh, we'll go 52nd to 56. Get your hands up, now! Get them on the dashboard, right now! Don't move! We pull them out. Keep your eyes on the front passenger, I'll get the guy in the back. Every passenger, put your hands where I can see them. Put them up on top of your head, lace your fingers together. Hey, Strawny? Yeah. Come on out. What's up? I got her, I got her, I got her. I got her. You have anything on you that's gonna poke me? Needles, yeah. knives, sharp objects? No. Who's who's driving? What's his name? Michael. Michael. Hey, who's driving that car, man? Drive the car. At 979, we got uh, two in custody here at the car. There's a uh, name associated with the vehicle named Michael. Sounds like it might be the guy who ran. What was he saying when he was driving? He just said, oh, I'm going to jail. Okay, all right. We're, that's all he was saying? Yeah, and then he just took off. I, I really, honestly, I'm, I don't know why he's running. Probably scared you the way he was driving, huh? All right, have a seat in the car. Yeah, I do. But I... Ma'am, ma'am. Stand back, stand back. I know, I know, I know. Just stand back. Keep, keep your hands straight up in the air, Lon. Michael. Straight up in the air and keep walking towards us. We're not going to hurt you. Just... Just come on out, turn around. Just follow the direction, man. Put your hands behind your head and watch the fingers. Put your hands behind your head and watch the fingers. Come back, come back. I got it, okay? He wants to come around. 
talking Nobody about. else is in there, Michael? No. no. Yep. You got anything on it's going to no, poke me? Before, no. You got to warm, man. So I got to warm, but that's it. Well, <laughs> you, how about for not stopping for the police? In what? In your car. I wasn't driving no car. Yeah, you were, man. No, I wasn't. Dude, you drove right by us. Yeah. I wasn't driving no Did you car. see us at 82nd and Duke? You drove right by us. I wasn't at 82nd and Duke. Yeah. Huh? Angie. They're saying I, was, I wasn't at 80. We tell them I was here. Well, dude, really? Yeah, really. I wasn't driving no car. No, I'm not. That's because the people in the car already told us you were driving. Mean? Really? <laughs> yeah, How do you think we ended up here, dude? I don't even know. But no. All right. We're going to walk down here to a police car. All right. All right, come on out this way. All right. Is that the guy that was driving? Huh? You don't want to go to jail for hindering prosecution, do you? I'm shaking my head. Yeah, you are. Okay, I'm not even looking at her. Is that him? Yes. Okay, thank you. Who was the dude driving the car? Uh, her, her dude, Mike. Mike. So what did he say to you guys when he took off, man? He just, I, he said, uh, what I do, what I do, uh, I'm going to jail. And I was like, dude, pull over, you know? All right, sit tight. Hey, Michael. So what happened tonight, man? I just wanted to get home. You just wanted to get home? Did you know you had a warrant? I don't live there. Yeah, I don't live there. I'm homeless, but. You don't live there? Is that like a girlfriend or something? OK. I apologize, man. I just. I don't know what to say. It's, I need to apologize to my girlfriend. Look, dude, but... People make mistakes. Good luck to you, man. We've got a vehicle taking off on us, going down towards 5th. Joey, just toss the gun out, man. You see it? You did all this. <laughs> We're trying to catch up to a vehicle for uh, excessive tin on the windows, loud music, stupid traffic stop. Thirty-seven eighty-four emergency. We got a vehicle taking off on us. We're going down Robinson. He just made a uh, right turn onto Terra Street. It's a silver older Chevy Lumina. One black male driver inside. Just made a left onto uh, Burroughs. Burroughs. And a left onto the dunk car. Coming back to Robinson. He just made a right onto Robinson. Going down towards Fifth. Joe, just tossed the gun out, man. You see it? Still going down towards fifth. Rate of speed is, right now we're going 40 miles an hour. He just turned uh, onto Fifth Avenue. Going inbound. Going inbound on fifth. Continuing inbound on fifth. We're getting ready to uh, approach uh, Kirkpatrick here. All right, he's pulling over here. We got him stopped on Fifth Avenue. Shut your car off! Shut your car off! Put your hands up! Keep him up! Unlock your car! Shut it off! Step out of here. Slide over here. You got what on you? Cough him up. Turn around. Scuff him up. Scuff him up. For some reason, you want to stop for us? Sir, I didn't want to go to jail for it, sir. That's it. For what? I got marijuana in my pocket. You had more marijuana. We're going to go back and get what you just threw. Now's the time to talk to me, man. Sir, I don't want to up with some weed in my pocket. Sir. You didn't just run because you had weed. Yes, sir. We're going to go back and get what you got. Then your attorney's going to be talking to me and begging me for deals, but there ain't going to be no deals. We're going to go back and get that gun you just threw. You hear me? I don't have no gun, sir. You don't have no gun. I just got marijuana in my pocket. You just got marijuana in your pocket. You just did all this for marijuana in your pocket. I don't want to go to jail, sir. I'm scared. I just got off of work, so yeah, the burrows, make that left there. And hey, let's the go up, Joe. Let's the let them watch him and let's go up and get what he got. All right. They're going to stay here and watch us. You guys mind watching him for a second? We'll go back up and retrace the steps. This is called in by a child. It's unknown if it's going to be a bogus call or not. Here to toss the firearm outside this alley up here. Is it Dunbar? I said Decatur, huh? 
Right here. Yeah. Right here on the street. Right there. There's his gun. Told you. There's his magazine. We're going to go back and talk to him, see if we can get the uh, story of why he threw the gun out the car. You want to talk to him? Yes. Yeah. read him his rights? Yeah. Slide down. Slide, Slide down. down here, man. So What'd I tell you? Right you got to talk to me, man. It's your last chance to talk to us. Because after this, you're going to the jail. I want to know where you got the gun from and if it's stolen. You're getting charged with the VUFA. You're getting charged with fleeing and looting. You're getting charged with the marijuana, reckless driving. And if you're a convicted felon, you're going to get 61 to 5. And you're going to be sitting downtown for a while. Let's go. You had your chance. Remember it. Get away from the car! Get away from the car! Hands out! And there's, you know, police everywhere, and I'm like... You running from somebody? I heard the gunshots. We're in the area on a shots fired call. This guy, he's leaving at a high rate of speed. There's a good chance he's going to have something to do with this shots fired call. Northbound past uh, 25th stop sign. X-ray, Charles, X-ray. X-ray, Charles, X-ray. We're south on Fountain. There's one black male, no, nope, two black male occupants. It's a gray Chevy Caprice four-door. 21st and Yale. 21st and Yale is our location. We're going westbound on 21st from Yale, heading back towards Hillside. I've got three deep now, three deep, uh, all black males. Down on your knees. I don't want anything to happen. Get down on your knees. Hey, man! Hey, chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Chill you out. You understand? I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Stay down. I'm cool. Okay, I'm down, sir. Stop I'm resisting. Sorry. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to resist. Can okay, you, can you just stay there. I'll lay on the ground all day. Stay down. I'm on the ground. Ah! Is car clear? Clear, clear. Got crack dumped out of the front passenger seat. One of the suspects, probably the front seat passenger, dumped a big bag of crack after our car chase here so what we do is we photograph the tag photograph the vehicle where the vehicle pulled into so that way we can document everything and articulate it if the case goes to trial I'm just trying to see why my husband is being detained and all okay that. I called in a check shots call when I'm in the area looking for the check shots uh -huh. this vehicle uh -huh. came around the corner so fast that its entire rear end spun around at 180 degrees and then went northbound on Erie Uh -huh. at a very high rate of speed, directly past my patrol car. Okay. I turned around. I attempted to initiate a traffic stop for a simple move-in violation, find out why are you driving so fast. Are you the victim of something? Uh -huh. Is somebody shooting at you? Are you running from somebody? I heard the gunshots. Uh -huh. He failed to stop. Yeah, I we were in a car. too, because that's we why I'm like, okay. I get a phone call with well, your husband, and there's, you know, police everywhere, and I'm like, what okay. the Let me finish. Let me finish up I what I need to, to finish. You can't. That's main... mine. It's me. Yeah, okay. I'm it. Uh -huh. Okay. When I decide whether I need to take your husband to jail or not, I can let uh -huh. you know. Or I will make sure an officer lets you know. 
Okay. That's, okay. That's I will make sure I that I don't do. leave without providing you with the information that you need to know. That's all I need okay? to know. They just came for no reason. We didn't even do nothing. Are you are you serious with that? Dude, I wasn't even. Are you serious with that? Happened? I pulled you out of the driver's seat. I wasn't even you stuck your me. hands out the driver's window, and they pulled you out of the driver's seat. You pulled into the driveway, and you're gonna stand there and look me in the eye and say you weren't driving. Are you are you so? Are you serious with that? You're seriously gonna tell me that? You're gonna go to jail for possession of crack cocaine and felony evading a loot.